Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back with Cyberpunk episode seven. Real quick, if you could like the video for me, please, I greatly appreciate it. Ah, sorry, it's been a week since about the last upload. Um, upload. Um, I'm recovering from being sick. Um, anyone that's watched any of the last things that have come out, you've heard me say this, but been sick, having computer issues, all that good stuff, all jammed in the one. So. Trying to get back on track. Hopefully, we can get back on track so we can wrap up. We got counting today. We have four episodes. I want to say this goes episode 10, so we have 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, I'm excited to see where this goes. Episode 6. Deep breath. Episode 6 was insane. Like, being sick, I had time to digest it more, um, rewatch it again, have conversation with, um, like, one of my friends about it and episode six was crazy just from like the number standpoint of us losing multiple people in the episode from the fact of seeing um cyber psychosis set in in real time seemingly like seemingly set in in real time but then see like having the conversation i had this conversation with a friend where we were talking back and forth on was main in cyber psychosis at the end or was like did like what happened after that i feel like i mentioned i may have mentioned i don't remember the last reaction if i'm being honest um i filmed that on the cusp of being sick so <laughs> um, matter of fact i like i filmed episode six and i woke up the next morning six so i don't remember much of what i said but um we had the conversation back and forth where it's just like usually when you see the cyber psychosis it's like the the triple eyes and it's like all glitchy and everything and main had that at the beginning when he was having his fits when he punched um oh my goodness kimmy what is that her name and the and when she was um diving whenever he like had his fits and messed up like midway through the episode but then it's like at the end he had like that like his that look where he was like i I can only picture it as someone that's like dissociated from from what's happening but the glitchiness wasn't happening so this is this like post cyber psychosis is this something else i don't know we had a nice conversation i wish i could like have recorded and then key you guys into it but um it was um it was when it got it got it got me thinking about it but um Let's see what episode seven has in store for us. We know that um, David took Maine's arm because they did have that agreement where Maine said, if I die, like if I clock out, you can take my arm. And he definitely took it. So we'll see where this leads us. Let's go. Episode seven. Cyberpunk episode seven. We're going to get started in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Oh, has subtitles on? I accidentally paused. My bad. Subtitles are not on. Are we picking up right where we left off? No, we're not. Julio. Oh boy. David. Look at him. He's all si like he's all geared up now. <laughs> Is his arm any bigger from getting Maine's arm? Is he pulling the trigger? What is he doing? <laughs> He's shaking, bro. Nervous. Look at he's all teched out and stuff. I hope that we don't get to like a cyber psychosis moment with David. Because I know he mentioned um, 
feeling like him and the San Deviston were like one. See, I remembered San- the Sandy. I remember the name. <laughs> he said it felt like natural and he was getting looked into for having like such a good link with it. But I hope like he doesn't chrome out too much. That's what they call it. And go too far. Because it's like any like all the things that I feel like we're tethering him and not allowing him to go too far are slowly leaving. Like it was his mom. Then it was other things. It was like the mental hurdles are not killing. It was Maine still being there. Like all this stuff is starting to slowly dissipate. And I don't want like like there's nothing to hold him back. But then again, he's an edge runner. Like that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to embrace this lifestyle. Ah, (laughs) I'm so conflicted. I don't want, it's like, I don't want anything bad to happen to him and Lucy, but they suck. How many episodes ago? Three episodes ago. They put the biggest death flags in the both of them. Episode four. So it's like, it's, it's bound to happen. And I don't want it to. I don't, (laughs) I don't want it to. Kiwi, not Kimmy. Kiwi. He looks cool, though. Where's Lucy? Oh, is David any taller or is this guy just shorter than him? Short circuit. Damn. Yo. Oh. Oh, man. Yo. Dog, David is cold, bro. He hasn't even used the Sandy. How long has it been? You look at him. He's Yo, he's yoked up. Oh, he saw him. He saw him. He went faster. He went faster. Dog. Wow. Yo, he's mad. Ah. What? Oh, uh, Julio's. got turned into a stain
I'm so taken aback by this. I just realized she took his, she took her brother's hands, right? I just, I just dawned on me. Where is Lucy? So he took over. Oh, she gave the life up. That's right. There's all that information she got when she was digging around in Tanaka's head. Even how David's talking is more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he talking about the arm? Yeah, the arm sentimental. Yeah, oh. his legs, David, David, where is your body? David, where's your body? What is he doing? What is he doing? Is there any, is there anything left of him? Is there anything left? Oh, my heart. 
Interesting that the cyber cycle stuff does like the triple eyes and he chooses to have three eyes. Hmm. I legit don't feel good after seeing him. Literally after seeing him, I don't feel good. See the zombie dude on the screen? Tough mornings. What is that? Oh, that he's going to force them to bring Lucy in. Oh, goodness. Yeah, listen to him. I I'm being so serious, yo. I don't feel good. <laughs> I didn't expect to see him like this. Like I I didn't expect to see him like this. I don't know why, but I just didn't. Look at where he's living now. Yeah, you got to respect it. Don't 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 screw this, right? You can't do that. I'm sorry, y'all. I was I was locked in. <laughs> Just seeing their dynamic, like I'm in, I'm kind of enamored by it.
Okay. Okay. That kiddo on the right looks like a panda bear. That's sad. Damn. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's sick. That's sick. Yeah. That's terrible. That's so terrible. Oh my goodness. They got up out of there. That's terrifying. Dude, that would be so terrifying. Where's the ED that's playing? No. She minute she she got rid of David's info. Which means that they're gonna search high and low for Lucy that she's the runner that did it. I wonder if this guy was with her. Maybe she thought everyone died and they didn't. That is Lucy, isn't it? Wow, she killed him? 
That's her. Because those are the same eyes she had when she was a little girl. Whoa. Oh, no. I froze. I froze. <laughs> I'm glad it happened close towards the end. Ah. <laughs> uh, this is the issue I live with, y'all. The stupid camera. I'm glad I I'm pretty sure it happened close to the end because I was holding my face. Um Dude, this show is emo it's like it's like draining. This show is emotionally draining. This episode took a lot out of me. Like, I'm not lying to y'all. This episode took a lot out of me. I was just, I was really, like, taken aback by seeing David and how much he augmented himself. Just hearing about um, him taking over the Edge Runners. Um, it's sad. This is a lot. Hearing about her, like seeing these ending images, and then thinking about like the backstory she just got finished telling us, it makes so much more sense. Like you could, like you could be a smart cookie and hypothesize that um. Something traumatic happened in her um in her backstory. What am I doing? I'm doing this. Like you could be a smart cookie and hypothesize that, but it's like actually knowing what was going on, knowing that she was taken as a young kid, forced to ro roam through the old net, slowly watched friends and people that she cared for like die one like one by one, hoped for that herself, but then come together to fight back and to try to escape only to end up in the situation where in like this final moment of running away, you, you hear all the people you care about being picked off one by one. And you're just like hoping that you can just make it out and you finally do. But the whole time you're still like living in fear of being caught and you're constantly running from the machine. And um, it's crazy this like this show literally each episode i find myself like uh, like i need like a deep breath to like exhale because i'm like so tense in the information that i'm seeing and like stressful combat situations i now you got now you have david who is taken over he's taken over the team and he's being quote unquote tested by Faraday well all behind like this Tanaka job but now you have Lucy who seemingly seemingly doesn't have the heart for it but in all actuality what she's doing is she's fighting an entirely different battle behind the scenes that no one knows about none of them knows about She's out here like 1v1 in people, killing people, making sure that David <clears throat> stays out of the limelight because now David is one of those people that she cares about and she can't let him get taken away like all the other people have been taken away from her. I don't know. Was the arm jamming? Was that like we seen main jam a couple of times? I'm all I'm scatterbrained. Like we seen main's arm jam a little bit. So was the arm like twitching and creaking was that the same issue and it, it was what the doc was talking about like let me upgrade this this isn't that and we get the flash of david thinking about me he's like no it's kind of like sentimental value we're gonna leave this alone i hope that doesn't come back and bite two characters that we care about because it jammed main up multiple times i hope this doesn't come back and like bite david um for having this arm um dude this this damn show this damn show i didn't i did not expect to see him chromed up like that now this is from you guys um if you guys are still here please clue me into 
um like the augmentations so like when when we're looking at david and they're panning us up his entire body in my head when i'm looking at him like is the only thing that is organic in him his brain and even that has stuff that's been jammed into it like does he like is there any flesh in his legs is there any flesh in his arms does he we know he already had his lungs replaced with the with the other lungs so that he could run extended periods of time that was back in episode five i want to say that he got that is there anything of him that's organic inside like does he have actual skin or is it just metal plates i'm and i asked that for like 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 for lucy too when i look at lucy like i see feminine parts but are is that organic or is that just like metal skin or synthetic skin like what what is organic and what isn't i'm like i'm so ignorant of this i don't know like i see like i i see like arm opens up there's rocket in arm surely none of this is organic anymore it's all been replaced it's all an augmentation or something like that right i don't know <laughs> please help me out i beg of you i beg of you um Dude, this show is going to go down as it's hard to say like a favorite because it's tough to watch for me. For some reason, this series is tough to watch, not in a bad way. It's it's like one of those where um, I compare it to um, like Joker, like the movie Joker, the Joaquin Phoenix. Great movie. I went to the movies and watched a great movie. I've only ever seen that movie one time and I don't plan on seeing it anytime soon. This show is like falling in that same category of like, like depending on how this ends, this might be one of like my favorite shows ever. It might get slotted into a category like that, but I don't know how many times I'm going to be rewatching it. Like even like, it's like, it's like I could go back and revisit like the action scenes, but even those for me are like stressful. Like they take a lot on. I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what sort. I I don't know. I I'm really like baffled at why this show is pulling these like emotions and everything out of me. Is it because of a relation to David a lot? I, I tend to like main characters a lot, but it's just something maybe I like I see myself in David way too much. And I'm like, like subconsciously, not even because I do this in all my series. I'm babbling. <laughs> I'm babbling. <laughs> but I feel like am I placing myself in the series? And this is like a world that I'm so ignorant of that the the unknown terrifies me in this world the unknown of like what cyber psycho is i am you know this i think it falls on the line of i'm like the individual like bringing up how people um had this conversation i don't even remember what i was watching but this is similar to um like i always bring up the game soma where it's like does humanity exist like once you get past this fleshy body like if you were like if we were able to download our personality and put it on flash drive i don't have a flash drive but um if you were to download your if you were to download your personality and put it on a hard drive right and you were able to plug your hard drive into some computer and your personality can exist in the digital form, does that make you human? And for me, right? For me, I don't I don't agree with that. Me, you need a soul. Like there's another living body in this body like that exists and you that's what makes you who you are it's not just the this fleshy physical and it's not something that can exist on a hard drive 
I think it's that way of how just how my belief system is and and like taking that and then plugging it into this world and but connecting with a character that lives in this world so much and it's just like that's the push and pull in my brain where I'm like like it's very like stressful <laughs> it really it ve it really is very stressful and it's like i think that's why i was like so like drained when i seen david fully like chromed out fully augmented seemingly where even the doc is like yo like you need like the doctor's doing the upgrades and then he's looking at you like you need to chill out like you're this is too much like even the doctor say like throwing his own two cents in and it, it's i feel like it might be some of that like how like how much of david is really there the david that i know i don't know it's it's that i feel like it's that that has me so wound up when i'm watching it's this show might be one of my favorites and i don't know when's the next time i'm gonna watch it i probably would have to watch it with someone like, yo, you want to check this show out and like sit there and watch it with them? Because I don't know if I'll watch this again by myself anytime soon. Not because it's bad. Not because it's bad. Because it's too good. <laughs> so I'm going to call it there. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. A little long winded on this one, but I don't know. The show, this show has me. It has me. Um, I care way too much about Lucy and David. Right. I want to say episode four, episode five. I said something like I I care about David, but I don't care about Lucy. I'm interested in Lucy. And then like that got flipped on its head. I remember saying that out loud an episode or two ago. I care way too much about them and I don't want anything bad to happen to them. And they're on the road to destruction. So <laughs> I'm going to call it. Thank you, guys. We should be back here on um, Thursday for episode eight. Yes, Thursday for episode eight and Saturday should be episode nine. So let's hope I can stay healthy and not get sick again and not have computer issues and let's just hope that this goes smoothly so have a good one i appreciate you and i'll see you peace out